Listen, I want to pause for a moment tonight and give you some very, very important information regarding reopening. We know that a lot is happening across our country, across our nation, and even in our state here in Tennessee. There's a lot happening. People are making plans and strategies to reopen. And we, are, we are, listen, we praise God for all of that. We give God glory for all of that leadership and all that stuff. But let me help you with what's happening at the Grove. At the Grove, uh, it really doesn't matter. Uh, what the nation does, and it really doesn't matter what the state of Tennessee does. It really doesn't matter uh, what, what the city of Nashville does. Uh, as your pastor, I am responsible, first of all, to make sure we facilitate a space that is both safe and healthy. And because there is no vaccine, I'm not sure if you've checked, there is no vaccine. There is no cure. Not sure if you've checked that. There is no cure. So because of that, nothing has really changed in the fight against COVID-19. The only thing that has changed is that instead of if you were infected and something happened, you now have a hospital bed that you could be in uh, as opposed to a few weeks ago, you would not have had that. Nothing has changed. So because of that, because of that, we have a responsibility to make sure we keep you safe and healthy. So when is the Grove reopening? Uh, let me tell you, uh, we ain't. We're not reopening. We are hanging out. We are chilling right long through here, and we're going to take our time. We will not make decisions based on dates. We will make decisions based on data. That means we're going to be listening to the immunologists. We're going to be listening to the doctors and the professionals and the healthcare workers, those who know what needs to be done in order to handle and to manage this virus. We will not make our decisions based on president, nor a governor, nor a mayor. We will make our decisions based on what is best for the people we are called to serve. Listen, I need you to understand, we are a, a predominantly African-American church. And if you're paying attention to the news and paying attention to how this pandemic has been impacting African-Americans, then you already know, particularly if you live in the United States, you already know that when the United States gets a cold, uh, African-Americans catch pneumonia. That when it rains in the city, it floods in the hood. So because of that, African-Americans have been disproportionately impacted in terms of death and in terms of infection rates than anyone else. Minorities have a disproportionate impact because of what we would call social determinants of health. That the disease didn't make things bad. Things were already tough in many of our communities and the, the virus now is simply being exacerbated because of those concerns and conditions. I cannot be the pastor of the Grove. I cannot go to God with a sincere heart and be moved to reopen so quickly because I'm concerned with economy. I will never, as your pastor, choose economics over humanity. Please know, we will be closed, we will remain closed, the building will remain closed, but the church has been open uh, since this thing got started. We've been able, through the, through the use of technology, the vehicle of technology, been able to keep people connected, minister to you, and you believe uh, that we're touching and impacting you in amazing ways. Here's how we know. Every week people get connected every week people join and let's be honest if we open this Sunday many of you I wish you would tell the truth probably wouldn't be here anyway <laughs> you would be at home because you know better than to rush out when this thing still is raging let's be wise let's be practical let's be prudent and we're going to make sure that we lead in that way so if you got any questions about when we're opening make sure you uh, grab this share this video uh, maybe even play it back and record it on your phone and send it to people who might have questions we're going to move by data not by dates and we're going to make sure that the health and the safety of our people is considered a number one priority Already. We have no reason to accelerate opening, so we're going to hang out right long through here online. Wherever you are, in your living room, in your car, maybe you're in the kitchen, look at somebody and tell them, stay online, stay online, stay online. If you join us every Tuesday and every Sunday and even every day of the week that we offer programming, this is where we're going to be online. Let the church say amen.